Last week, Sony put out a 4K release for Labyrinth. Now, Labyrinth is a classic. I love Labyrinth so much. I actually did a video on it earlier this year where I revisited the movie because I hadn't seen it in like eight years or something. And I love this movie. I was out shopping yesterday. I got this shirt. I know it's weird to see me in color and a few others. And I also got No Country for Old Men on Blu-ray. But then we were at Best Buy and I was like, oh, they already released Labyrinth. I thought it was coming out in like a few weeks. I thought it was sometime in September, but I guess it's already out. And this is the 35th anniversary special edition I guess because this is just a comparison to regular 4k so this is just quiet place part 2 but if you can see it's actually taller there and it's definitely thicker than there and that's because there's not only just the movie but there's this little booklet in here I don't know what it looks like but this thing uh, came to the total about $45 so it's definitely more expensive but I think it's worth it because I do love this movie and in this video I'm going to unbox it for you and then I'm gonna watch certain scenes and just tell you my quick thoughts on it and explore the special features and everything so let's get into the unboxing okay so here we have labyrinth it says obviously best buy right here i just got its it sticker there's ps5 sticker on it as well in this digital version whatever that doesn't really matter on the top it says 4k ultra hd 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital i will talk about the digital code in a little bit at the end and then 35th anniversary edition the french title because i'm in canada it says jim henson's labyrinth and 35 for the 35th anniversary obviously the side is a little bit thicker here um and it's just says Jim Henson's Labyrinth in the same font and the back here reads from visionary filmmaker Jim Henson comes the unforgettable fantasy favorite Labyrinth now celebrating its 35th anniversary a 16 year old girl Academy Award winner Jennifer Connelly best supporting actress of beautiful mind 2001 is given 13 hours to solve a dangerous and wonderful labyrinth and rescue her baby brother when her wish for him to be taken away is granted by the Goblin King played by the iconic David Bowie, which, you know, if you know me, David Bowie's my favorite uh, solo artist of all time. I've talked about him many times on the channel. It just reads it in French, and the special features are on the 4K disc, deleted and alternate scenes, over 25 minutes of never before seen lost and alternate scenes, with all new commentary from Brian Henson, Sarah screen tests, a collection of rare original screen tests for the role of Sarah, and then on Blu-ray, reordering time, looking back at Labyrinth, the Henson legacy, remembering the Goblin King, Labyrinth Anniversary Q&A, the storytellers, picture-in-picture picture track, commentary by conceptual designer Brian Fraud, or however you say that, making of documentary Inside the Labyrinth, I will definitely be watching that, Journey Through the Labyrinth, Kingdom of Characters, and the Quest for the Goblin City, and theatrical trailers, and then it just has your standard uh, HDR, you know, your, your, your details and all that, but that's not exactly important. But now, let's open up this thing. I'm just gonna grab this. There's a little cut in the back here, and I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, these scissors are terrible. I got a little bit there. And here we have it. Now, this back here seems like it might be a J car. Yeah, it is. So that slides out. Ooh, I like that a lot. I really like that. So there's just that J card. And as you can kind of see, this comes in what seems like some, some sort of like glass protector. So, wow. You slide that off. It has Bowie and Jennifer Connelly. Move this away and it just kind of sits there uh nothing really on the back it has the sides but in here it says the labyrinth i don't know if you can read that well i can't tell if the lighting is good enough i don't know what's in here exactly like i have an idea i don't really know for sure and then okay so here's the digital code i'll explore that for now and then some collectible collectible pins i didn't know about this <laughs> And then here are the discs. Wow, that, I mean, I love me some disc art. So this is pretty awesome. I mean, this one is kind of just like perfect. It just has Bowie and Connelly, the same thing that's on the cover, but that's awesome. And then here is the second one. And then on the back here, all these discs have this little thing. Now, if you notice, all the 4K the new ones have this. And then this is just the background art, which is pretty cool. That's it must scare some children, but I mean, the whole movie did. <laughs> and just flipping through here again, I don't really know what's in it. But it just, okay, so it's basically just talking about the anniversary here. So again, this is all stuff I will read later. Trust me, I love reading about this. And then uh, it says, my will is as strong as yours. And we get a little bit of the script. So that's pretty cool. That's cool. Wow. That's awesome. And then a little bit of some storyboards, obviously. Uh, for those who have seen the film, I bet everybody watching this, you know how it opens. That's pretty awesome. And we just get to kind of flip through when we see some of the storyboards, it seems like, and a part of the scripts over here with the script. <laughs> and then here's Bowie, the castle beyond the Goblin City. There's, yeah, just all these drawings 
David Bowie as the Goblin King Jareth, which is always a funny name. They got some concept drawings of that. I mean, Bowie's hair in this is just unbeatable. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, and you and you see some behind the scenes here, and it, it just tells you more. Again, I'm going to read through this more intently, but I'm just flipping through for the sake of the video here. Some pretty awesome things. I'm really excited to see how this will turn out. Oh, that's awesome. That's a really nice scene, a really cool scene, I'll say. And then some, some disturbing stuff there at the end. That's so awesome how you flip through that. And I love how it comes as like this little book thing. There's just nothing on the back. It just says the labyrinth. There you go. Now you can see it. And on the back, there's nothing. So I really, really love that. And I love how it slides into this. Like there's, I, I think that's just so cool. And I like how this is like kind of this special uh, whatever you say. Oh, there's also these guys at the bottom. I didn't even notice them. This is like special edition, I guess, and there's definitely a lot of work that's been put into it. I can tell at least for the um, release, like the physical release. So I hope that the movie, I don't really know why I just put this back in here if I have to go watch it now, but um, I really love the way it looks and I love how the labyrinth here is just kind of very subtle. So it's, it's on the plastic um, edition there, but you can't exactly notice it. It looks like it's added there and you can unclip it here. Here, just saying like there's a little thing here that you can unclip it but anyway it's time to go watch the movie or at least a scene from it and I'll show you a little bit you won't be able to see full quality because I'll just be shooting it on my phone but I'll talk about it after see you in a bit So I have to say, after watching just a few scenes here, this thing is definitely worth the upgrade. And I actually recommend paying the full 40 or $45, whatever it is, for this edition. I'm pretty sure they just had the standard regular Blu-ray, maybe even a Steelbook as well, or 4K, sorry, uh, and a Steelbook as well that just has, you know, that classic um, poster, which is also very nice here. But I love this because it slides out of this really nice cover and it just has this book that says The Labyrinth. Like, I just love that so much. And talking about the trans for, I've seen the Blu-ray, I, I actually watched this a few months ago, and I think it looks very good, but the 4K, there is a quite obvious upgrade, at least for me. The grain structure is really strong, that's the first thing I noticed, is that you can really see all the grain here, and it works, I really love that, it gives it that filmic look, I guess, if that's the proper way to say that, and the colors are definitely more contrasted and everything, contrasted, contrasted, same thing. And I can tell there was a lot of work put into this one, and I would actually really highly recommend it, and with the sound, I say this in almost every video, again, I'm not a massive sound person. I only have the sound coming out of my TV. I don't have speakers or anything like that, but my TV now sits at like close to the end of my bed. I moved it up where it was like against the wall before, so it's I can see it a lot better too. And I must say the sound, it's so clear. You can hear every line of dialogue when Bowie's singing, as I showed you in the Till the World Falls Apart or whatever that, that scene is called, which is like probably my favorite scene in the film. That's why I went to it. You can hear him so clearly. You can hear all the different parts of the music that's what I really loved and even in like that the action sequences if you can even call it that I think that it really worked I would highly recommend picking this one up I have to say Sony you did a very good job with that and before I go to say if you want to win the digital code here what you need to do is I always like to make these fun you got to comment down below your favorite scene from this movie your favorite David Bowie film and what is your favorite David Bowie song? And then DM me on Instagram or Twitter, whatever you use more, I guess. And then the first to do that will get the code. And thank you all for watching. Tell me if you picked this one up or the standard one, anything like that down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Over and out.